In this video, I'll be showing you how to duplicate existing projects, and I'll also explain to you why you should. If I open up CapCut and create a new project by tapping on the plus sign, you'll notice that I have to add a photo or a video clip. But what happens if you just want to have some blank text, like say on a title card? In order to do that, you would have to insert a photo and turn the opacity setting down to zero. If you'd like a tutorial on how to do this, let me know in the comments below once this replay is posted. Instead, what I'm going to do is close out of this window. I'm going to tap on this existing project here. and duplicate it. If I tap on the project, you'll notice that it contains a photo with some text on the screen. I like the style, size, and appearance of this text, so rather than recreate it again in a new project, I'm going to close out of this project, and then I'm going to duplicate it and rename it. If I tap on the three dots, you can see that I have three options. I can rename, duplicate, or delete this project. I'm going to rename I'm going to duplicate this project and then rename the copy. So I'll tap on duplicate, and we now have two copies of the same project. The copy contains the word copy. So I'll tap on the three dots once more to rename the project and remove the word copy. I also need to give you some additional information that was not present in my original video on how to rename projects. If I tap the three dots and tap on rename, you'll notice that the default name is in the field. And you'll notice that you have a maximum of 50 characters to use. This is the new information that my original video does not have. So you have up to 50 characters to name a project. I'll delete the name and type a new project name. Then tap on OK, and you can see I've changed the name. But the original copy of the project still exists, and they're both three seconds long. If I open the duplicate copy, I can tap on this text, by first expanding it out to the orange box. Then if I tap on the box, it will select the text and I can double tap to bring up the keyboard. And I can type in some new text, but the text on the screen will retain the size, position, and style from the original project. Now I've typed in some new text. When I'm done typing, I will tap on the check mark. You'll notice that the text appears throughout the entire title card. If I tap on the text to select it once more, notice that I have the ability, if I scroll all the way over to the right, to animate the text. I'll tap on animate. And of course, you've got three settings, in, out, and loop. In refers to what happens when the text first appears on the screen at the beginning of the animation. 
out refers to what happens to the text as the text disappears off screen and the video moves on to the next scene. And loop refers to what happens while the text is on the screen. I'm going to show you how to animate the text in and out. When I do this, I like to use the same animation just so that it's not too distracting. I'll choose an animation to select it with in selected. Then I'll tap on out and I'll select that same animation. You can see that a blue line and a red line, the blue line represents the in animation and the red line represents the out animation has appeared. I'll tap on the check mark and I'll play the text one more time. You can now see that the text moves in and out of the project. Although the, opa the opacity is still turned down, you can see that in the timeline, the photo that I used is still visible. Now, if I want to add a video clip, I can tap the plus sign here. I can tap on videos and I can choose any video clip that I want. Let's take a look at this one here. I'll just add it to the project. And there you see we've got a video clip. So let's play the whole thing from the beginning. What I'm going to do is change the format of the video to make it 16 by 9. So I'll go back to the main timeline, tap on format, choose 16 by 9, and now the video fills in the entire preview window. Here's my title card and my video clip. Did you know that you can also replace, replace text on video, photos, or your title cards with emojis? To do this, all you need to do is bring up the keyboard, tap on your emoji keyboard, and you can select any emoji that you want to use. To see how to do this, Keep an eye out for my next tutorial, which is how to use keyframes. If you're satisfied with your title card, you can export your video. Tap the export icon and the video will begin to export. If you want to add a black title card at the end of your video, just repeat the same process I showed, but do it at the end of the video instead of the beginning. For example, you might want to say thanks for watching. Tap on done and you'll be taken back to the CapCut project screen. Notice that we have both our duplicate project, title card template, and our original project with the default name still in the project list. You'll find your exported video in your camera roll and it should be the last thing that you recorded.